Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course uh, the aspects of biochemical engineering in the last uh, couple of lectures I tried to concentrate on the reactant analysis and uh, this uh, also this coming two lectures today's this lecture and coming lecture also while I will talk more on the reactor analysis because I considered that this is very important uh, to uh, uh, for of the important uh, for the uh, reactor analysis because I, I initially I pointed out you can remember that uh, the one of the major objective of this particular course uh, to develop the expertise that uh, to get a desired amount of products what should be the volume of the reactor so until unless you do the reactor analysis properly you cannot find out the what will be the volume required for getting a desired amount of products now uh, in the last uh, lecture you can remember that uh, i i try to explain this uh, uh, continuous start tank reactor and the plug flow reactor in details and try to find out um, that how you can uh, calculate the conversion efficiency of the in the CSTR as well as in the plug flow reactor and also how you can find out the volume of the uh, plug flow reactor <coughs> that and uh, and continuous start tank reactor now this uh, particular lecture uh, i try to uh, concentrate on two different aspects one is uh, is the batch process that how you can find uh, analyze the batch process and second uh, also um, i want to try to uh, analyze the uh, reversible reaction in the in the batch process that how we can analyze the reversible reaction so these are the couple of things i want to take care in this lecture now if you look at um, the first problem that we have that uh, the this problem says that in the in the homogeneous homogeneous catalyst of a chemical of given concentration aqueous reactant A is converted to product at the following rates and CH alone determines this rate. So, you know that what I want to know at, at different uh, CA value uh, so that to uh, so 1, <coughs> 2, 4, 6, 7, 9 and 12 what is the rate, uh, rate of the reactions this in a particular CSTR that uh, in, 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 a, uh, in, a, in a batch process that uh, they find out that what is the different rates. We plan to run the reaction in a, a batch reactor at the same catalyst concentration used uh, in getting the above blood. Find the time needed to lower the concentration of A from C A 0 10 moles per liter to 2 moles per liter. So, this is this the, this problem if you if you look at this problem. So, we, we know T batch minus D C A this will be minus R A am I right? minus R A. So, this is C A 0 to C A. So, in this problem what is happening the they have given different value of C A and uh, at the same time they they also given different value of the rate equation <coughs> that uh, that is given there. So, from that we shall have to find out <coughs> time of the batch process. Now, how we can do that? That uh, that we can do it very easily that uh, this is equal to minus R A. So, uh, if we plot 
1 by minus R A versus C A. So, we will get some plot like this or this way or that way whatever is there. Now, if you if you know the C A 0 value here and if you know how much of the C A, C A should be converted, then area under this curve you can find out the volume of the uh, the time uh, time required for the batch process. This you can easily find out. Now, how you can find uh, how you can calculate the area? That is very important. So what I can do, I can make a, a straight line here. So if you look at this, this is what this is a, a rectangle. And what is the area of rectangle? Is length versus breadth. Am I right? this is length, this is breadth. So, if you multiply that you will get the area. <coughs> now, you here you can you can put a straight line here. So, if you straight line there you will find a triangle. What is the area of a triangle? Half base into altitude. So, you can do this and some portion will be remaining that you can find out what the different uh, different uh, squares one square if you know that what is the value of one square if you calculate the number of square from that you can find out that total time required for that and that gives you the idea of uh, the uh, time required for a batch process So, in this problem that uh, what is given in this problem what is giving C A 0 is uh, 10 moles per liter and C A F is 2 moles per liter am I right. And the batch <coughs> as I showed you the batch uh, time that is to be calculated like this D C A by minus R A and C A 0 to C A F that we have. Now, the integration can be evaluated by the graphical method or by numerical methods area under the curve C A versus 1 by uh, my 1 by minus R A between C A 0 to C A F. Let us see how we have done that. So, this is uh, we calculated uh, 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 in this problem we have the values of C A value is given R A value is given, but uh, we shall have to convert it to 1 minus R A because that uh, that will reveal because your plot is what plot is minus R A by C A because why because T batch is equal to minus D C A by minus R A am I right. So, this is uh, this is uh, 1 by R A and this is C A. So, you you can you can until unless you 1 by R A you cannot draw this graph. Now, now, if we plot 1 by minus R A, this is you can see minus R A is there and this is C A. So, we have we have this kind of plots. So, so we have we, so in this problem if, if you look at the problem is that we shall have to reduce that 10 moles per liter to 2 moles per liter am I right. So, in this in this problem that uh, so this is the so this is 10 moles per liter and this is 2 moles per liter. So, area so this is the curve that we have and area under this curve you have to calculate. Now, question comes how you can how you can do that you can do this very, very easily that if you you can consider this as a triangle then you can consider from from here to here you can uh, consider as a rectangle, then here you can con consider as a again triangle, again you can rectangle like this you can do that uh, and in here you can do that you can do that. So, you can calculate the area under this curve may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then you find out the t, t batch what is the time that you required in the batch process. So, it is coming it will come around uh, the 22.416 hours that uh, from the graph we can find out this particular results.
Now let me go to the, uh, the second very interesting problem that is the uh, what you call reversible reaction and in the reversible reaction we know that uh, we have uh, we have forward reaction and the backward reaction in the bps reaction we assume this is irreversible and this is the reversible reaction we have and in this uh, in this reversible reaction reaction two things is very important one is uh, equilibrium condition and the normal condition normal operating conditions and i told you here i want to highlight again that uh, uh, at equilibrium conditions that equilibrium we have the equilibrium constant we call it equilibrium constant and equi equilibrium constant equal to what concentration of product by concentration of substrate am i right now I, and this is the concentration of product this is the concentration of substrate now i told you that uh, when you work with any kind of uh, reversible process to increase the uh, product concentration either you have to take the product out so that more substrate will convert to products or you have to add more substrate you can get the product so let us see that how we can analyze this system now this is this is a plug flow reactor a plug flow reactor of capacity 2 cubic meter 2 cubic meter means what 2 cubic meter means 2000 liters am i right <coughs> the process uh, i know aqueous flow rate is what is the flow rate is there f is equal to 100 liter per minute containing the reactant c0 value is given this is this is equal to 0.1 mole per liter this reaction is reversible and represented by this and the equation is minus ra is equal to 0 0.04 into ca so so i want to I want to write it here this is this is suppose the k1 and this is k minus 1 sorry the the sign is given in different way so let us assume this is k1 and this is k backward is k minus 1 the k1 is 0 0.04 and k minus 1 is 0 0.01 this i want to highlight this is uh, this is how you can uh, the first uh, find the uh, equilibrium con conversion and then find the actual conversion of A in the reactor. So, two things we shall have to find out in this particular problem. What is the equilibrium condition? That means, under equilibrium condition, what is the percentage of substrate that is converted and what is the actual substrate converted in this reactor? The both the part, both the portion that we shall have to solve in this particular problem and by we are the reactor that we are considering is the plug flow reactor and we know the plug flow reactor <laughs> expression and the batch reactor expression is same uh, because same integration that uh, tau CSTR hmm, sorry tau plug flow reactor is what minus DCA by minus RA am I right and also <coughs> this is equal to same as T batch. So, this is same similar type of expression that we have. Now, uh, as, I, as I pointed out uh, before that uh, let me uh, re, uh, tell you again that when you solve any kind of problem first uh, please write down the what are the things that is given in the problem. So, k 1 value we can rate equation we can find out k 1 equal to points. 0 0.04 minute inverse and k2 is uh, 0 0.01 minute inverse ca0 you can easily calculate find out how much is mole per liter cp0 is 0 <coughs> the cp0 means at at the 0 hour the, the product concentration is 0 and flow rate is 100 uh, liter per minute and plug flow <coughs> volume of plug flow reactor is 2 cubic meter that means about 2000 liter now m in the ratio of CB0 by CA that is equal to 0 because at the, at the initial point at 0 hour this uh, product concentration is 0. So, M should be equal to 0. So, this is the input uh, of the problem that we have and from that we can find out that what is the equilibrium uh, conversion that we have in this particular process. Now, if you if you go back uh, to our expression that when we discuss the reaction kinetics, then we discuss the reversible reaction in details and there we can find out that K1, K1 what is K1? K1 is the 
uh, 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 rate constant of the forward reaction because if we write like this, this is k 1 and this is k 2. This is k 2 for the backward reaction, k 1 for the forward reaction. And if you take the ratio k 1 by k 2, this is equal to m plus x a e. What is a e? x a e is the, the fraction of a that is converted under equilibrium conditions. That is, uh, that is called x e stands for equilibrium conditions and 1 minus x a, 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 a x into a e. This, uh, this expression we have seen we have uh, during, uh, during um, uh, this uh, analysis of reversible reaction we have shown this expression. Please refer, the, refer this and then in this problem we know the value of k 1, we know the value of k 2, uh, this m value is 0. So, we can easily calculate the value of x a e and this is coming about 0.8. That means, equilibrium conversion of this process is 80 percent. Equilibrium conversion because again I am telling you that what do you mean by equilibrium con conversion here? Suppose A, B, K 1 and K 2. So, if you if you look at minus D C A by D T, this will be equal to K 1 into C A if you consider first order kinetics k 2 into C b. Now, under equilibrium condition this should be equal to 0. So, I can write k 1 into C a equal to k 2 into C b. I can easily write. So, k 1 by k 2 equal to C b by C a. This is equal to constant, equilibrium constant. Am I right? This is what, what is written there. C b equal to this and C a if you if you we will consider then uh, then we can, we can write this one. So, so uh, we, we can put the equilibrium uh, condition here then we can we can we can put this then we can calculate the value of x a e and that is about 80 percent. Now, next is that uh, Next problem is that, uh, let me go through that uh, what I what I told you that in the next, next problem we shall have to find out the actual conversion of A in the reactor that you have to find out. Now, let us see how we can do that. Now, this is the rate equation that we have because uh, for the I have already done that. This is equal to I what I showed you minus d c a by d t equal to k into C a minus k 1 into C a k 2 into C b. Am I right? The uh, k 1 equal to what? k 1 equal to C a 0 into 1 minus x a and C b equal to C a 0 into a, a, a x a because we considered C b 0 equal to 0. So, if you if you consider that is like this. So, now <coughs> tau C s t r equal to C a 0 into x a minus uh, r x a. Now, putting all the known values in the above equation and solving the trial error method that we can find out the value of x a. Now, that you know that in this problem, in this problem that we shall have to, uh, we have, uh, we have here you can see that uh, we have uh, this is the C S T R volume and this is the, uh, the flow rate aqueous flow rate. So, from that we can easily find out the volume of the that you know tau C S T R that you can you can calculate the tau C S T R. Then if you know the tau C S T R and x a, x a 0 value know the we this uh, the x a value you assume trial error method and find out under what circumstances the left hand side is equal to right hand side. And if you if you do that you will find that uh, when x a equal to 0 0.4 then left hand side will be equal to right hand side and since it is 0 0.4 that means actual conversion is about 40 percent that check take place. Now, uh, let me go for the, the third problem that we have this is uh, the aqueous uh, the aqueous decomposition of A is started in a experimental mixed flow reactor. Uh, me, now, here I want to want to tell you one thing 
that uh, CSTR can be uh, can be uh, you, you we can express in different way. We can uh, though it is uh, says that CSTR may continuous start tank reactor. Sometimes we call it mixed flow reactor. Also, when it is used in the biological system, we call it uh, chemostat. So, basically all are CSTR, continuous start tank reactor. So, different uh, name we put for the CSTR because one is mixed flow reactor or uh, chemostat uh, when we use in the biological process and in the chemical process mostly we use either CSTR or mixed flow reactor. So, this is the mixed flow reactor and we mentioned that is CSTR. The results, uh, results in table are obtained at the steady state run and uh, steady state run means uh, here let me show you one thing that uh, that uh, that suppose suppose this is CSTR okay now, there is a flow, this is in flow, that is out flow and I told you this flow rate should be same. Well, why should be same? Because if F differ, either volume will increase or decrease in the reactor. So, F should be same because we want to maintain the same volume in the liquid volume in the reactor. Liquid volume is the walking volume, liquid volume is considered as the walking volume of the uh, reactor because we assume the reaction take place only in the liquid phase. And what I told, suppose you want to carry out a reaction A to B and you want to carry out in this reaction. So, what we shall have to do? We shall have to first you have to run this process in the batch mode, let the reaction take place when it is the maximum, then you flow with the flow rate. Now, as soon as you give the flow rate that uh, here you have C A 0, am I right? And this is here you have C A. Now, if you look at that concentration that uh, with respect to time and that concentration of C A, it may little bit change with respect to time. This is outgoing C A concentration will be changed, a time will come, it is constant and when it will be constant, then we call it steady state condition. So, in this problem, they, they are talking about and this requires some time, this is the time required for to attain the steady state conditions. So, this is exactly what it is mentioned here that uh, the runs of the table are obtained in steady state run to obtain that 75 percent conversion of the reactant the fuse stream 0.8 moles are what holding time is required in a plug flow reactor. So, uh, uh, so that is the, that is the 75 percent of this means uh, that is uh, C A 0, suppose it is 0.8 mole per liter, then uh, if you consider the 75 percent, how much will be remaining? That is 1 fourth, am I right? So, C A will be, it will be 0 0.8 into 1 by 4, that is 0 0.2 mole per liter, this is mole per liter, am I right? So, you have to find out that, uh, that you know, to obtain 75 percent conversion of the reactant what holding time is required in the, so you have we shall have to find out tau plug flow reactor, tau plug flow reactor we shall have to find out in this. So, so in this problem what is given? In this problem that in, in this problem we operate CSTR at different substrate concentration, different substrate concentration and different, uh, the, the, you see that uh, in this problem that uh, in the fish stream, you have this. In the exit stream, is this? Uh, so this is the, this is uh, this is given there in the fish stream and exit stream is like this, and holding time is like this. Now, now one thing I want to point out in the as per as per the CSTR is concerned that in the CSTR, when you calculate tau CSTR equal to C A zero minus C A by minus R A, am I right? So, you can the fish stream is there and this is there, so time is required. So, you can find out already you can find out the minus R A value, 
you can find out at different substrate concentration, you can calculate the minus added value. This is and what is the substrate concentration you have to assume? You have to assume this because I told you under steady state conditions, substrate concentration remain unchanged. So, this is the so at different substrate concentration, what is the RA value is given. Now, once you have that. So, C A 0 value is there 75 percent conversion. So, I what I told you that C A should be about 0.2 mole per liter am I right and C S T R is like this. So, this is the things that we have this already we have we know this this is minus R A for the C S T R we know that. Now, uh, we can easily find out C A value at different C A value what is the 1 by R A R first we calculate R A value then we calculate the 1 by R A value. So, this we can have that. Now, we know the pl plug flow reactor when you tau plug flow reactor is equal to minus D C A by minus R A am I right. So, now here you can you can again plot minus 1 by R A into C A and that C A that uh, I, I do not know what kind of plot you have to find out and suppose this is, is a 0.8 mole per liter and this should be 0.2 mole per liter. So, you have to find out area under this curve. So, you can find out the value of tau plug flow reactor this is how you can calculate. Now, this is the equation, this is a C A value you can uh, calculate and uh, this is about 0.2 I showed you and and then we we, we when you calculate the this area under this curve, area under this curve when you calculate 1 by R A versus C A that you know we can we can we can find out this is tau plug flow reactor and this is coming about 300 seconds. So, you can easily calculate. So, so this problem I considered very interesting problem in the sense that <coughs> how the batch data can be utilized for finding out the time required for, uh, for, uh, for the operation of the plug flow reactor. Because uh, <coughs> when you when you operate a continuous start tank reactor then you find after infinite uh, infinite time when the steady state condition reach your substrate con concentration remain constant at that particular concentration what is the rate of uh, reaction is there you can easily find it out from this uh, equation tau C S T R equal to C A 0 minus C A by minus R A. So, if you know that uh, so different C A value you can get the R A value and if you know the R A value you can find out minus 1 by R A value and if you then you plot minus 1 by R A value by uh, uh, C A you the area under this curve will give you the value of, um, of tau plug flow reactor. So, so this is uh, this is how you can find out here here you can see that this is the kind of curve we got and this is 0 0.8 and this is 0 0.2 the area under this curve you can find out that this is this is what we call tau plug flow reactor. So, uh, what we what we learned from this particular lecture we learned that uh, how to find out uh, the batch time and I told you that uh, to find out the batch time uh, what uh, either you go for numerical techniques or, co or computational techniques or you better you go for the kind of the graphical analysis and since uh, the batch time is equal to minus d c a by minus r a. So, if you plot 1 by minus r a by c a and area under this curve will we can easily calculate and find out that for the conversion at 75 percent, 80 percent, 90 percent substrate conversion how much uh, time is required you can easily calculate. Now, in case of reversible reaction we come across uh, two things one is uh, uh, what is the uh, equilibrium con the conversion with that equilibrium uh, uh, condition what is the 
uh, percentage conversion of the substrate, how you can calculate and also in the normal uh, reversible reaction at time t, what will be the con uh, conversion that we have. But only uh, in case of reversible reaction, I told you that uh, two strategy, strategy we maintain to increase the product uh, uh, constant product formation in the reactor. Either as soon as the product form, if you take it out, more substrate will convert it to product or you add more substrate in the reactor, so that you will get more product in the reactor. Now, the last problem is very interesting, how <coughs> I try to find out how from the data of the CSTR can be uh, utilized for the operation of plot for reactor. Thank you very much.